Hi, my name's Craig. I'm the technical manager here at QNAP UK, and today I wanted to talk about snapshots on QNAP NAS. Um, so you can find that in the storage and snapshots application. Um, it's largely quite similar between QTS and QUTS Hero in, in how you uh, manage it and look at it. Um, but the ultimate principles are the same of how uh, they work. So what I wanted to show is if we go down to the storage slash snapshots section in the uh, storage and snapshots application, uh, we can see that I've got uh, three separate volumes. Uh, one of them is a iSCSI LUN, uh, one is a QVR Pro drive for the surveillance footage I'm using, um, and one is my main data volume where the data lives. Uh, you can see I've only got snapshots enabled on the data volume, and it, you can see I've got 28 snapshots. So if I was to click into that, uh, we can see I take a snapshot um, every 12 hours, and when you click into schedule snapshot, I keep them uh, for a maximum of two weeks. So that's how I've got my snapshots set up on this particular device. You can change this and you can do smart snapshotting, um, different periods for snapshots. You can do smart versioning. There's a lot of different options. Um, but the main thing here is to look at, I've got a total amount of data um, on my volume here used at 6.74 terabytes. Um, so that's all the data that's in there, and I've got 28 snapshots of that uh, 6.74 uh, terabytes. If I look at my main storage pool where the snapshots live, um, I've got a pool guaranteed snapshot space there of 5% of the storage pool, which works out to 743 gigabytes. Now, I'm only using the top option there. I'm only using 0.14% of that, which is just over 20 gigs. Um, so I've got my entire uh, 6.74 terabytes of data protected effectively with only 21 gigs of capacity. Um, so when you take a snapshot, um, you might be surprised when you take your first snapshot that it's it's done in less than 10 seconds. It's, it's finished. Um, a snapshot itself um, contains just the data um, that is being modified or deleted. So as you put new files into uh, your, your volume, for example, um, the new file isn't stored in the snapshot. It doesn't need to be in the snapshot because it's still in the volume. It's only when something is effectively removed from the volume that it will be put into the snapshot storage. So it's a very efficient use of space. So if something is as it's supposed to be in your volume, that's the only place it will be. If you were to go and edit that file, change it in some way, or you were to uh, delete the file, whether it's on purpose or accidentally, then that file would be stored in the snapshot. The changes of it would be stored in the snapshot. So it's a, a block level um, uh, protection effectively rather than file based. So it's gonna store the changed blocks over in the, uh, in, in the snapshot in the storage pool. So when you look at the total amount of data. So this is saying that in the last two weeks, I've only effectively either deleted or changed 21 gigs of data in my volume. I've definitely put a lot more new data into the volume. So um, maybe say roughly about 100 gigs a week I would add in to, into my storage volume. Um, but because I'm not deleting uh, that type of data, it's not increasing my snapshot unless I do a little bit of a tidy up. You know, if, if every couple of months I go through and uh, maybe delete a, a few hundred gigs, then yes, my snapshot is going to get bigger um, while that two week process is going on. But the snapshot really is just containing the data that's changed or been deleted in the last two weeks with the settings that I've got. Uh, so that's how I would uh, sort of categorize how uh, snapshots are working. So you don't need a lot of space allocated to the snapshot reserve space. There are different ways to do that. So you can click the cog uh, icon at the top right hand corner. And then in here, you've got a snapshot section. So in here, you've got all the management for the snapshots. So you can choose um, how much, whether the smart snapshot space management's enabled, um, how your policy is when your snapshots uh, reach the maximum number, um, whether you want snapshots to enable Windows previous versions. I've done a separate video on this topic, so you can enable Windows previous versions here and in the shares themselves as well. Um, so there's a lot of different options that you can do within each, uh, within each section. And the managing of uh, snapshot reserve space, if you were to click the manage option, um, there is different options within here where you can configure the pool guaranteed snapshot space. Um, so I've only got it set to 5%, but you can go up to 20% or you can type in a custom amount if you wish as well. 
Um, so snapshot reserve space is really just a place that the storage pool reserves for snapshots that a volume can never use. So it's guaranteeing that you're always going to have some free capacity in your storage pool so that snapshots can be successful. Um, so snapshots themselves um, are not necessarily a backup on their own because they are stored within the device itself. Um, so we would recommend that if you're using QTS like this NAS, that you would use something like Snapshot Replica, uh, which will uh, allow you to replicate the snapshots from this NAS to another NAS. Um, if you're using QUTS Hero, we do still have Snapshot Replica, but we also have a, another feature there called Snap Sync, uh, which offers uh, quicker restores and real-time snapshot repl replication between the two, two NAS if you wanted to use that as an option. Uh, but that's ultimately how they work. Um, restoring files and things is very easy as well. If you click into the Snapshot Manager, uh, you can see all the files and folders that you've got stored here on your device. So if you wanted to go through, you can choose to pick a folder. You can revert the whole volume snapshot if you wish. So you can completely restore the entire snapshot back to how it was. Or you can just pick certain files. So if you wanted to say, just do the public folder, you can click on that and you can restore the folder, which will put it back where it came from or you can restore folder two. So maybe you want to restore it to a different location um, so that you can pick and choose the different things that you want to move from uh, the restored uh, folder to the, uh, the existing folder. Uh, and you can also clone it as well, which is useful if you want to do any testing on any of your data. You can completely clone uh, the snapshot to a, a different uh, shared folder if you wanted to as well. Um, okay, so hopefully that was uh, helpful. Um, so I've been getting quite a few questions about snapshots and people worried that they need um, more space for snapshots than, than they think. Um, but snapshots are very, very efficient. Uh, one of the best ways to, to protect the data on your NAS, especially if you're using it with, uh, with another NAS to have the snapshot replica or snap sync set up on it. Okay, if anybody has any questions on snapshots, please do let us know uh, down in the comments section below and we'll get back to you as quick as possible. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.